Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome back to a new Let's Play. And today we are doing King's Quest. And this is going to be a bit of a fun, interesting game to sort of show off. Um, uh, do you know much about King's Quest, uh, Gok? What I know about it is from watching One Short Eyes videos on about speedruns of this game, which are something else to say the least. Yeah. Yeah. It is quite funny uh, how insane they are. And to give a spoiler to everybody watching this, um, I'm going to fail miserably at this speedrun. I'm pretty sure I've uh, already doubled the amount of time that it takes to, to get this uh, game done. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure like an hour long doesn't even qual doesn't qualify to the top ten. You're so you're probably not gonna get a good score. Yeah. Oh, well done, cat. Well done. Uh, the shit all over your face. No, that would be a feat of acrobatics. <laughs> but he. But she did knock a feel, a feel of my pe of my pants and utensils. Doing, I don't know, in search for of what exactly. <laughs> yes. Anyway, so uh, talking to the king, uh, he is ordering us uh, to go and find three treasures because he's old and. Uh, he is such an incel, he never got around to fucking, so he's gonna give us the kingdom if we find these treasures. <laughs> Which sounds well, like a pretty good deal to me, especially since uh, one of the treasures is uh, a, a chest of infinite gold. Not gonna lie, recent events in Spain have told us that even if you're a king, sometimes you just, you, uh, sometimes she's just for the streets. Yeah. <laughs> also, uh, uh, the way I'm recording this is uh, usually I record gameplay first and then I show off the, uh, uh, like, I, I then I show the recording to uh, Gok uh, later and uh, we just do the commentary afterwards. And nice just... animation on the, nice animation on the flags. Yeah, it's not too bad for 1984. Mm-hmm. Uh, but this time I'm doing this game live, so. And... Isn't this game? Hmm? Sorry, isn't this game just like it has a grand total of like sixteen colors? Something like that, yeah. Back in the good old days when uh, you didn't need all these colors and shapes and shit. So. <laughs> all right. This moving rock rolls downward, uh, and you, unfortunately, are in the way, even though I type push. <laughs> Fuck this game. <laughs> Listen, we learned programming, but we forgot about grammar and, like, meaning of words, so don't be too hard on us. Yeah, that was, uh... <laughs> we already... Uh, yeah, programming for this DOS games is already enough, is enough, uh, enough mental strain already. Yeah. Give us a break. So, I might as well show you guys uh, how speedrunners managed to beat this game in 40 seconds. So, uh, let's see. In here, there is a speed setting. So, there's normal, which I've just set it to, if you guys can't see it. And, you know, it's alright. It's fine. And then we have the fast setting, which is pretty good. So, pretty fast. And then we have fastest setting, which clocks in at... Oh, no. It's just uh, slow. Normal and fast. Okay. So they got rid of fastest setting on the... Uh, uh, for the good old games version. It's just fast. Which I think I will keep, too. Why would any human being choose this slow setting is... Uh, I guess if your PC is dog shit. <laughs> But anyway, still like, still like, no, the 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 most basic PC of today would still be able to run things better than a, than like this than the best one from 1984. So I imagine like, yeah, you'd have to be dealing perhaps with the worst computer of 1984. So yeah, the one who can only handle text-based games. 
Uh oh. Uh, there's an ogre, and he's gonna crush you in his strong arms if he catches you. Eh? Thank God. I oh, oh, damn it. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, the ogre didn't get me, but uh, my inability to swim did. Yeah. You're a knight of the realm, but a body of water is too much. Well, to be fair, uh, we're a knight of the realm, uh, wearing no armor and dressed like Peter Pan, so... Wouldn't you be able to swim better, then? <laughs> yeah, you'd think. Apparently, and you're uh, not on fast that, and, you're, uh, and you're not on fast anymore. Yeah, I, I don't think uh, running on at fastest is a good idea. Uh, let's just uh, keep it as this. Alright, uh, look and pull... Uh, bigger. Oh, no, fuck you. Uh... <laughs> okay, so we got that. And let's see. Boop, boop. Uh, so the reason why I'm doing this live as opposed to doing my edits and showing a more competent playthrough is because there is one specific puzzle in this game that I want Gok to figure out. See if he can figure it out. And... Uh, that puzzle is infamous for how unbelievably shitty it is. Well, that was a given in, in adventure gaming... Adventure games up to the 90s. Oh, uh, believe me. Even by uh, obscure bullshit adventure game logic... Uh, for point-click adventure games like this... This puzzle takes the fucking cake. It is remarkably bad. Uh, let's see. Climb tree. Okay. And then we climb the tree to grab a golden egg. And truth be told, I have no idea what the purpose of this egg is. Aside from alternate ways to, uh, uh solve some puzzles. Uh, egg. It's so heavy, we almost drop it. Thank God we didn't. <laughs> What's the name of your main character again? We are King Graham. Or, well, well we're you're not a king, king yet. Graham, uh, but uh, right now we're Sir you're, Graham. You're Graham, the knight who has skipped leg day. We are Graham, uh, the man who uh, is probably named after a cracker of some sort. Well, he certainly looks like a cracker, all right. <laughs> uh, let's see. Although the Simpsons kind of cracker. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, uh, now I know where I'm going. Sorry, I'm referring to a map that I drew, uh, because this is back in the days when drawing your own map is uh, part of the gameplay, and that's fun. What do you think about... Uh, uh, drawing your own uh, maps. Do you think that should be... Uh... Ooh, a fairy godmother. And... This is actually one of the few things in this game that's actually good to get. Uh... Come back here, woman! Uh... Alright. Well, I guess uh, we got uh, her magic ding -a -ling. Uh Basically, uh, if we get it, uh, we have the ability to avoid danger for a little bit, so... What is the expression you use? Your, their her magic dingling? Yeah, her magic dingling. I don't know what the fuck to call it. Yeah, that, that word would have very unfortunate connotations in Romance languages. <laughs> in some Romance languages. Look, there's a very uh, good song uh, that uh, was written about uh, uh, a silver dingling, alright? Uh, have you heard of it? No. Yeah, it's about a, a little boy with his uh, uh, silver uh, uh, bells tied to a string, which he called his ding -ling, and he would play with it all day, every day. It's a good song. I should uh, uh, show it to you sometime. I'm having flashbacks to a certain Oingo Boingo song that is... Oh, uh, thank God we got managed to get this, like, immediately. Uh, talk to elf. Oak. Yeah, we talk gotta get to elk. 
Yep, we gotta go up to this fucking elf. Come on. Ah, I see it's a dark elf. The elf, impressed by your friendliness, gives you a magic ring. Kind person, know that once, only once, this ring will make you invisible. And then he fucks off. Cool. Uh, so, look. Ring. Tiger's eye stone perched on the top. Fantastic. And then we wear the ring. Super. And then, uh, to activate the ring, we rub it. And, yeah, this is a random event, so if the elf doesn't immediately appear here, just keep walking off screen, then back on the screen, and then, uh, you'll be good. Uh, let's see. Uh, I need to grab a bowl, but I think we can do... Uh, let's see. I'm trying I'm to... Grab your... You're gonna grab your billy, you're gonna stop by the billabong, hit up some tea. Fucking wolf. And that's how you avoid danger, you just walk off the screen. <laughs> um, I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. Uh, as you can see, I, I am not a master gamer of King's Quest, the series. But, uh, you know, I make do. Uh, there is some weird stuff that I do know about the game, or the series. Like, um... Uh, like how it was uh, made by Roberta Williams, and uh, she, uh, was like co-owner, co, co God damn it, ogres, uh, co-CEO of uh, Sierra at the time uh, with her husband, and uh, they made a whole bunch of games, and my God, did they fart out a lot of games uh, back in the eighties and nineties. Um, do you know much about Sierra? Uh, their point-and-click adventure games and all the other fun stuff that they used to do? I've seen, I don't think I've ever played anything from them. I did watch quite a bit of, uh, about their, their, their stuff. Yeah. How they would, uh, their main output seemed to be adventure games. And, uh... They certainly had a lot of personality, for better or for worse. Oh, let's get nuts! Yeah, crack. Nut. You discovered Let's get nuts, let Fuck yeah, we got some pure gold in this nut. Oh, yeah. I was hoping it were Brazil nuts. Let's get about... Uh, let's get about, about a hundred of them. Eat, eat it all, and get selenosis. Yeah. Well, uh, apparently we can't nut in the nut. At least not right <laughs> now. <laughs> was nutting isn't even an expression in, in the 80s <laughs> i think i don't know if it was a part of the lingo back then all right um now there is a bit of a young graham the mystic protective spell of mine has weakened and dis depart oh i guess we could have run into all those enemies and nothing would have happened oh well now oh, you got a bow there Yep, and it is a very important bowl. We need to grab it. And there is a weird interaction here where uh, to get more points, uh, I think you have to look at the bowl. You notice a word on the bottom of the bowl. All right, and then we say Bill. After uttering that strange word of Bill, uh, the bowl starts quivering and immediately fills uh, up with a delicious hot stew. Ooh, very nice. Eat. Ah, I see it's a Russian bowl. You eat every bite of the delicious stew. And then we lose those points. <laughs> but apparently there's a weird interaction where if you do it the way that I did it, you technically get more points than you would if you were to read bowl and then say fill bowl. Read bowl. Yeah, because apparently that doing that interaction gives you one point, whereas what I did gives you two points, which, according to a guide that I read online, uh, the way that I did it just now means that if I do everything else correctly, I should end up with 159 points out of 158. You're going for Donkey Kong numbers? Basically. Uh, let's see. <laughs> 
grab a handful of pebbles. Fantastic. Only reason to do this is uh, to get one of the treasures if we do it the violent way, which gives us less points. But we get points for, for taking pebbles, so... That, would that involve tossing pebbles at the leprechauns? No. Uh, we have to do something else with the leprechauns. No, the the puzzle is, involves a giant. Because uh, apparently we're mixing up our uh, mythical uh, fairy tales with uh, fucking sorcerer. Uh, we're missing up, mixing up our mystical fairy tales with uh, uh, biblical ones. I'm guessing you don't get get the reference. I do get the reference. I am familiar with the story of David and Goliath. Exactly. Uh, it would be you would be like. I mean. It would be very uncanny for a person to reach adult age and not know about the story of David and Goliath. <laughs> Say. <laughs> <laughs> so by the, leg ca uh, the log cabin, talk yep. to Uncle Ted. A really shitty-ass uh, log cabin, I might add. Uh, let's see. Good. The guy does look like Uncle Ted, really, though. Like th That is actually kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't expecting him to... Just... Puzzled. <laughs> Uncle Ted, if he had found a, a, a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. Puzzled, the couple wonders why you have given them a bowl. Say, Bill. Couple is amazed and delighted as the bowl miraculously fills with a bubbling stew. As a token of their gratitude, they offer their last earthly possession, the woodcutter's fiddle. I mean, they seem to have uh, some 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 nice possessions there in the in the their their home seems pretty all right for a midi for a. What would what I would imagine is a medieval kingdom? They have, a, they have a bed, a bench, a stove, that did not exist in medieval times. They have and a bench, a stove, a and a kitchen. <laughs> but, yeah, they, uh, have a, they have a cupboard. Yeah, like, but they have, they, they have holes in the floor, and yes, you can die if you walk over them. Yeah, but that's not like a. That is nothing that a that. A, f a couple of days of work and some wood can can fix up. Like the their home, se their, their their home seems like a pretty fine abode for medieval times. So, so, so the the thing about less earthly possessions seems like a bit of a a bit of a a bit of a lie. Just saying. <laughs> All right, and we're coming <laughs> to our next uh, uh, fairy tale reference. I uh, bet you can't figure out what it is. Oh, I imagine some very nice lady with a couple of children lives there. Indeed. Uh, but just in case, I am going to save the game. Because Her this is tasting... one of those games. Her tasting painting seems kind of garish, though. Like, did she make, did she make her house out of, out of candy? I know, like some weirdo. Uh, but yeah. let's find out. Uh, eat house. <laughs> as you begin to eat the house, a squeaky voice from somewhere says, Nibble, nibble, little mouse, who is nibbling at my house? Uh-oh. Well, we got two points for eating our house, so let's uh, back up. And do that. Do it again. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Okay. Open door. Surprise, surprise, the Wicked Witch is home, and now she's after you. Eh. <laughs> Let's try that again. There we go, she's not home anymore. For a second, I thought she had a TV. No. I was concerned. Open cupboard. Take. Ease. <laughs> yum, yum. And there's one other thing that we need in here. That weird note. And we also need to wait around for her. Uh, so take note. We grab the note from the table. Read note. The note reads, Sometimes it is wise to think backwards. This is incredibly important, Gok. I need you to remember this. <laughs> 
Listen, I just had lunch. I'm not willing to. Re I'm not in the mood to remember anything. What does your fat uh, block all the uh, uh, blood to your brain or something? No, when I'm doing digestion, I'm I I, I avoid intellectual tasks. All right, and this is the one problem of doing this live. Uh, we gotta wait around a bit uh, until the witch comes. Uh huh. Anyway, have you filed your taxes already? Uh, yeah, yeah I did a uh, the Ted Kaczynski method of uh, filing my taxes. Hopefully, uh, the government opens it. <laughs> <laughs> um how bad are taxes over in uh where you live in saudi arabia like uh because over here in canada it's something like 30 40 percent uh if you uh to start and then it goes up based on how much you make mm -hmm. well it's not so bad when you can pay your taxes on sl with slaves yeah fair enough Anyway, like I said, uh, this sucks, and unfortunately, the wait command is not a command. Because <laughs> believe it or not, yes, there are some point-and-click adventure games or text games like this where wait is a, a genuine command that you can make. Oh, goodness. I do remember reading at some point about uh, the, the, the silly things... Adventure games would used to do, and there was one I think in the game Dark Seed, where your character you probably know about this one, where your character needs to disguise himself. Oh, you're talking else. about Dark Seed two, yeah, right? Yeah, he I I don't know, uh, one of the Dark Seed games where he has to disguise himself, and to do so, he decides to to use a fake mustache. But your character instead of has a mustache already. <laughs> Sorry, what? In Dark Side or Dark Seed, your character has a fucking mustache. Hmm. So that makes even less I sense. Yeah, I don't know which one of it was it, but yeah, he do, he needs to use a fake mustache. So to do so, instead of doing like a sensible thing, like going to to a shop and buying a fake mustache, or going to the barber and grabbing some tufts of hair, he decides to. Grab a, f a bit of like a uh, adhesive adhesive tape. Put a, a bit of a, 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 a bit of adhesive tape on a hole. Is scare a cat so that the cat crosses the, the the hole in the wall, and leaves a bit of hair in the adhesive tape so that he then can grab the hair and make him a, a fake mustache. <laughs> All of this to so that he can disguise himself. As a person who does not have a mustache. Yeah. Uh, I mean... I mean, that's also pretty bad, uh, but I do know that in uh, Dark Seed 2, uh, he disguises uh, his voice on a payphone by holding his nose while talking. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Uh, you that? would think that the, you would think that the people who made adventure games in, back in the day were like a, a species of underground creatures who did not interact with with humans beyond like Saturday morning cartoons or some weird thing like that. <laughs> a scream for witch. Yeah, I, I want her to come home. <laughs> God damn it. Oh dear. oh dear. God damn it. Sleeping bad. Oh goodness. <laughs> I mean flashbacks worth bound. Look, that ah, here she is, finally. I am going to get my oven ready. Yum yum. Alright. Uh Toss switch in the oven. Basically. <laughs> hopefully I don't fuck this up. 
Congratulations, you managed to push the witch into the oven where she flashes and melts away into a harmless blob. Yeah, boy. You just murdered a person you don't even know. Yeah, she was a witch. She's, she's not a person. <laughs> that is appalling racism on your end, Sam. I am disappointed in you. Like, uh, I don't think... Uh, I'm questioning our friendship right now. Look, it's fantasy racism. That means it's 100% okay. <laughs> <laughs> the orcs deserved it. <laughs> Look, the orcs aren't uh, black people, all right? They're clearly green, okay? <laughs> I thought they were Mexican. Oh, yeah, they're Mexican now. I forgot about that. Yeah. Wizards of the Coast just declared that... Uh, that <laughs> That the inv invasive species of D&D &D who, who breaks into your country to pillage and take away your stuff is a, 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 a Mexicans. Yeah. How do you like these goat noises, by the way? <laughs> they look awfully like uh, stuff from my TV. From my TV. Oh, God damn it. it. Goat went off ah! the screen. Get back here, you little shit nugget. They those goat noises looking look a, sound a lot like when your TV was was having uh, connection issues, <laughs> static issues, like in a uh, signal issues on on the nineties. Way back in the like uh, when I was uh, like when I was a youth. I had a TV from uh, from that my fa that my family had from all the way back on I think ninety four ninety five, and that TV was so old that it turned that it that it turned on by itself, like one of the one of the the buttons to the button to turn on the TV was busted, and it literally turned on by itself, like it would occasionally just. Turned on for no reason. <laughs> Ooh, we found some diamonds. Nice. And unfortunately, I ruined the funny number. But uh, we gotta take this goat up here. And no, actually, uh, according to my map, I I meant to go down. Whoopsies. Oh well, this works. <laughs> Uh, ba, 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 ba. Let's see. I'm finding it amusing how it seems like the goat has smoother animation than your character. Which is quite sad, but there we go. But anyway, Fairy Godmother gave us some more magic powers to avoid uh, confrontation from random encounters. Very nice. Uh, Milk goat. Yeah, let's try that. Yep. Apparently, we don't understand the word milk, so you're out of luck. <laughs> Come on. Get around the fucking patch of dirt. Alright, and this is what we need the goat for. Uh, we just gotta get around this fucking bush. Come on, Mr. Goaty Goat. No, this way. No, almost. No, uh, uh, God, no. Uh, come on. <laughs> uh, maybe around this uh, bush. The predecessor to all escort missions. And sadly, it's probably better than most. <laughs> that is uncanny. That is like a. As you approach the bridge, thought. a mean, ugly troll appears. He will not let you cross his bridge. It is a well-known fact that goats hate trolls intensely. You should move aside and let the goat take care of this nasty troll. Indeed, <laughs> so. The old goat, seeing the troll, the arch enemy of all goats, charges the troll and butts him into oblivion. The bridge is your now yours. <laughs> the arch enemy of all goats. <laughs> you see a crotchety old gnome pacing around his lean-to. And this is the grand uh, mystery that I want you to solve, Goke. And... Throw shackles at Gnome. 
All right. Well, that's not too far off. Uh, let's see. Save game. Uh, we shall call this one... Uh, There we go. That seems fitting. Yes. All right. Uh, let's see. Talk to Gnomi. The old gnome tells you he has something that may be very useful to you. Your task is to guess his name in three guesses, and his gift will be yours. Good luck. What is your first guess? And I will be very nice to you, Gok, and tell you the first hint. We have everything we Rumble. we have everything it's in our not party. No, hold on. We have everything in our uh, uh, inventory right now to solve this puzzle. Go. Uh, bronze knife, pebbles. Yeah. What else? Where did you get that at? Oh, shit. That's not even close. All right. Uh, let me do it this way. Uh, inventory tab. Here's everything we have. His name is... <laughs> uh, so, what is that supposed to mean? I don't know. Uh, so, you want to try Rumpelstiltskin, then? Yeah, I'm going to bet I'm gonna bet that a Rumpelstiltskin would be a bit too obvious. Stiltskin. Oh, sh shit, I went to it too. He said very close, but try again. Mm. So what do you, you think put it is? You, you put on an extra T on Rumpelstiltskin. I, did I? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Rumpelstiltskin. No, it's not Tiltskin. There, there, like, there isn't that second T there. I'm pretty sure that's uh, the, his name, Rumpelstiltskin. I don't recall. Maybe, maybe the second T. Uh, I don't know. Maybe the second T is silent. Uh, I thought I always thought it was Rumpelstilt, stilt, like as in like a stilt. Rumpelstilt, Rumpelstiltskin. Stilt skin. <laughs> no. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. All right. Uh, I don't so, know. You don't know. It sounds like one of those like European stories. Oh, oh! Uh, I thought you were talking about the guest for uh, Rumpelstiltskin's real name. <laughs> Come on, Goki. You have one more guess, uh, and not totally because I fucked up the first time. <laughs> um, can I see his inventory again? I didn't get to see all the items. Oh my god, Goki. <laughs> Listen, it's glitching out all the way here. Okay, uh, okay. dagger, dagger, gold, uh, carrot, note, four leaf, clover, pouch of diamonds, uh, gold egg. Uh, his name is Rothschild. Okay. He didn't guess the gnome's name, but he left the gold key anyway. Better luck next time. And the gold key is used to get in through the back way of uh, where we need to go. In reality. Uh, restore game, dingle fuck ass puzzle. I shall say his name. If think the V G Rogue per room. Uh, did I spell that wrong? I have no clue. Uh, let's see. Ethan can, can. Oh, maybe that was supposed to be an O. I can't read my own writing. Whoopsies. Um. Maybe his mother just didn't didn't want him. Yeah, maybe. His parents didn't want a child, but he came on by accident, and he just, for like the first few years, they just to they just tolerated him. So they gave like. So they gave like the most retarded name because they just couldn't be bothered. Ethan. Maybe I forgot to talk to him, so... Garogaherpirim. No, that's not even close. Okay, so I guess I did uh, mess up. Okay, whoopsies.
Uh, let's see. Talk to gnome. All right. If in K O B H G R O G R H E P R M. That's right. You guessed it. Here are some magic beans for your outstanding accomplishment. <laughs> So, remember that note that said, think backwards? Mm-hmm. Okay, that was the answer to the puzzle. Uh, but it wasn't Rumpelstiltskin spelled backwards, because that would make too much sense. No, the actual answer is, use the reverse alphabet to spell Rumpelstiltskin. <laughs> Use the reverse alphabet. Okay. Yeah, yeah so if there um, was an A, you would use a Z instead. If there was a Y, you would use B, etc., etc. <laughs> I am surprised the people who make this game weren't, didn't receive any, any pipe bombs in the mail <laughs> after this. Because this is just an, a contemptible level of nonsense. <laughs> anyway, uh, you want a uh, contemptible level of nonsense. Uh, you remember when I uh, uh, had problems uh, crossing the bridge, or uh, in the previous recording, I uh, had troubles crossing the bridge because of uh, perspective issues? Yeah, I imagine it's the same issue with a, with a bean stock here. Yep. Fine bean. Okay, fine. God damn it. Fine. Bean. Uh, God. Climb tree? Climb vine? Sure, climb vine. Nope. How do you spell beanstalk? I presume it would be the way you did. There we go. All oh, right. lovely. So... Ah, the English language betrays us once again. You break her neck. No, no, no. That's if we get to the second screen. So... There we go. And now we made it to the second screen. And if we fall off here, then we die. So... Single fuck-ass puzzle. And now we have to figure out how to climb up this thing. So... You know, it's a really uncanny... Like the games, the the game just feels really uncanny when there is no music, yeah, or no other soundtrack, uh, sound effects. Because like whenever, at least like with the other games, like uh, the rise and that kind of stuff, at least there was sound effects going on. Yeah, but in this case, it just looks very weird. And just sorry, the if whole I'm, thing. So sorry, I'm saving a lot, but you'll see why in a second. Yep, with a wrong move, you fall dizzyingly to the ground because I pushed right once. <laughs> And we're dead. <laughs> Lovely. So, uh, apparently I had to go up a bit more, even though it looks like I'm going to fall off. There we go. And then we're going to save real quick. Fantastic. And then we go... Nope! <laughs> oh my lord! No, uh, god damn it! I only had to do it once. Door. So. Then up. All right, we made it up pretty far. So save. Here we go. I'm so eh, eh. Okay, that's pretty far. So save again. And up and up and up. And we're not done yet. We got a third screen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh. Right. I can feel my hair getting gray. Don't worry. There's not only four screens. <laughs> yep. And off we go. All right. So I think we made it to about here. 
So then we're going to save. Very good. And then over. And then I'm going to save. You know, it's in situations like this that I miss ha not having Cal with with us. Oh, what do you, what do you know? I didn't go uh, <laughs> right enough. Off I go. <laughs> oh, no, I went too far right. So off I go. Oh, dear. Okay. And then I'm going to save. And then... Nope. I was too far right now. <laughs> okay, so let's go back. The police, the police came to arrest you. Nope, you were too God far right. Uh, one, two, one, two, three. Okay, I think this is okay. Let's save here and left. Right. Up. Nope. Uh. Nope. Um, one, two, three. Okay. Let's try this. Eh, maybe this. And then up. Nope. I'm starting to have very unkind feelings, very unkind thoughts about the people who made this game. Like, why do you would you make something like this? Nope. <laughs> Had to go a bit further, maybe. Oh, I'm wow. not even. Uh, I don't even understand where you need to go. Yeah, that's. Why couldn't you just? That's why couldn't you just make it like a straight line with a very wide straight line? Because that would have been that too is... easy. <sighs> God damn Goodness it! Goodness gracious. Door. Is is there some kind of a hint, like in the in the design of the of the of the beanstalk? Ah, okay, I think I found it. Uh, yeah, I think the hint is that you have to follow maybe the back one. God damn it! Okay, so uh huh, uh -huh. okay, that seems good. Save, and. Uh, okay, we're, we're we're making progress. I'm liking this. Oh, we made a bit too much progress. Got to get punished for that. Is this how people who do programming feel when they are typing lines of like uh, lines of code for hours a day? Probably. Uh, Boy. Save. There we go. Up, 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 up. Okay. Save. Here Up and away. Okay, that was a bit too far up. So restore. Uh, going left. Oh, oh, that actually works. Okay, fantastic. Save. Boop. Hey, we made it. All right, save game just in case, cause I'm pretty sure if you just cl try and climb straight, you fall. Oh, hey, we made it. Fantastic. So what did you think about that puzzle, Gok? <laughs> I'm once again thinking how lucky the people who made this game were to not get pipe bombs in the mail. <laughs> because like this... I don't think this was acceptable ever again. Like, there was, oh, 80, 1984 it was a different time. Like, no, I don't think this was ever acceptable. I don't think it is as tolerable, you know? Hey, you gotta get those, uh, uh, toll-free uh, number call-ins, uh, for game hints somehow. Because mm -hmm. they didn't have guides back then, and they didn't have the internet. You had to call the, uh, game professional hotline to figure out the solution to these problems. <laughs> that yeah, would be and in really fucking diligent with, uh... Uh, figuring it out yourself. Mm -hmm. It's the kind of game for, like, when you... Mm. For anyone, we're really miserable in your life. And you just... 
You notice a sling in the hole in the tree. All right, uh, take sling. Pull out the leather sling. All right, let's look at sling. The sling was made by a fine craftsman. Oh, and it's actually a, an actual sling and not like the cartoony uh, fucking uh, sling. So it's a master work sling. One point for realism. Good job, King's Quest. <laughs> The masterwork sling. It was made by a, by a, by the greatest of dwarves. Yes. <laughs> yes, and it gives you plus one to hit. All right. Uh, and then I'm going to save here because I'd imagine that uh, this next bit is going to be a little bit hard. So. Uh. Fun. Very tale. Fun fairy tale reference. How about that? Bet you can't figure out what it is. <laughs> uh, Toss egg a giant. Toss carrot. No, we used the carrot on the goat. Come on, goat. <laughs> oh. Well, I thought you had it already when you saw the gnome. Because you had it in your inventory when we were talking to the gnome, didn't you? Uh, or am I confusing stuff? Has this game rotted my brain? Probably. But anyway, now we could use the sling uh, and the pebbles to uh, kill this giant, or we could do the peaceful method and just wait around until he, he falls asleep. Yeah. Uh, the other method we could do is... Um, uh, uh, it, it. The other method is we could use the uh, the invisibility ring, and he won't be able to see us. But the uh, problem there is that we won't get maximum pointage. And I want maximum pointage, damn it. Pointage? Yeah. Don't know, didn't know that was a word. Probably not, but uh, people can infer what I mean by that. Mm -hmm. They can infer that the edu that education system in, in Canada is in decline. Notable oh, decline. Always, it always has been. It's just uh, especially bad these days. <laughs> Moral of the story, homeschool your kids. It's, uh, hey, hey, what luck. The giant fell fast asleep. And because he is now asleep, uh, take chest. And let's get the fuck out of here before he wakes up. Can you go back to the screen and find, find him, like, a gr uh, searching desperate for the, for the treasure? No, but he's angry at us, so best to leave. And I am going to make another save here, because I'm not 100% sure if the uh, dickhead dwarf who steals your shit... Uh, uh, comes, uh, if you're going through this way. But, uh, the key, uh, would lead us to that big door in the mountain, and that door in the mountain leads to this staircase here. And by the way, yes, you can die here if you go too far down. So, you gotta be very careful descending the stairs. Uh, uh, I almost died there. Oh my lord. But yeah, uh, if you go up uh, through the back way, uh, I think the dwarf has a, uh, a higher chance of appearing. Uh, I'm not sure if he doesn't appear if you go in through the correct way. Come on. What do you think was the motivation for people who, uh, who played these games in the past? Uh, bored and nothing better to do. Even then, like, I mean, I guess maybe there were days where TV was just really boring. I've been there. I've been in those situations. Like, in those days, there are like, it's it's raining outside and there's nothing good on TV. I can't. I get that you you get those days, but like, my goodness, is there? Really, if you have a computer that can play a game like this, you probably have other stuff at your disposal to in, to entertain yourself with. <laughs> the sad, the sad uh, fact is that even if you did, 
uh, most of the games that you probably had access to were just as cryptic and shitty as this. <laughs> I mean, 1984, most of the people people had access to it was Atari. Yeah, which, and most of the which, Atari for games all its were flaws. like uh, Pong and uh, Kaboom and Breakout. <laughs> for all of its flaws, it was still better than this. Like, why? Well, King's Quest does have an important history in terms of, like, the reason as to why... Uh, it exists and its impact on the game industry as a whole. So <laughs> that's kind of why it's remembered as well as it, it is. Not for its quality. It's kind of like what uh, Fist of the North Star is for anime. You know, it's not exactly remembered because it was good, because it isn't. Uh, really? Um, I thought uh, uh, the. Omaiwa Desu uh, thing was. Uh... Omaiwa mo shindeiru. Yeah, that's it. Omaiwa Desu. Yes, like that. That I I doubt that's an expression that would catch on. You probably should save, shouldn't we? Shouldn't you? Because you've been done a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, I should. Good thing I have yeah. you as a uh, a co-host. <laughs> But yeah, like Fist of the North Star is not. I I watched. Uh, I haven't read the manga, but I read. I've, I've watched. Well, I've read. I watched the anime, and it's. Oh boy, it's an ordeal. Like I think I watched. No joke. I think I watched the less. Fifteen to twenty episodes of Fist of the North Star in the in the in the, in the final day, because it's like a hundred and ten episodes. And. <laughs> I kid you not. I kid you not. There are like, there are a a total of ten uh, recap episodes in Fist of the North Star. Five of them happen in a row, like before you your character engages with the final uh, arc of the story. There is five. Recap episodes in sequence. It is. Huh. Yeah. It's it's just silly. And, uh. <laughs> oh, by the way, here's a dragon. <laughs> oh, uh, I forgot to do something. Uh. Grab uh, uh, water. Bill. Okay, fine. I'll go up for air. God. Goodness gracious. Uh, but yeah. Uh. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh yeah, I heard about this. You can only fill your bucket when you are at the top. <laughs> no, we can do that here. Dumbest thing. Oh, goodness. Oh, here we are. Uh, fill... Anything like the last episode of Fist of North Star happens yep. like in a, like the story concludes on episode 109. Hmm. And uh, so I was thinking to myself, what? The story is over. What is is the last episode going to be a recap? It was. <laughs> it was a recap. That anime is. Um, has some unconventional practices for modern. Uh, for, uh, compared to modern day stuff, and yeah, it is not very good as a story. It is, it, it survive. It, yeah, it's that thing that survives in the public consciousness for uh, for for the memes, but not for the quality. And uh, <laughs> uh, sorry if you guys can hear that, but my kitty is on my lap now. He's trying to. Uh... Help me with uh, this game. <laughs> Isn't he a good boy? All right. Uh... Fill bucket. With difficulty, you fill the bucket while swimming. Man, <laughs> I don't know how we did it, but good job on us. Ah, uh, what reality do the people who made this game live then? 
Um, like Mars. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so now we can uh, deal with the dragon. There's two ways we can do it. Uh, the first one is we throw the dagger or we toss the water. Oh, God damn it. Ah, you missed? Apparently. I thought I was close enough, but nope. Yeah. Oh, but... I like, I like how close it is to the... Uh, here, I'll, I'll do it this way. Store game, fun. All right, then we fall down. Kill. Lord almighty. Swim, dive, off we go. And I'll just make a safe so I don't have to do all that bullshit again. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was automatic, like it would work, but my bad. Yeah. Right, so. Is that a thing? Like, I think you have to be like a few, a few steps closer. Does the drag is, is the drag does it does it matter uh does it Ah there we go. The water hits the dragon squarely in the mouth, extinguishing its warring flames. No fire! How mortified and embarrassed the dragon is. Moving a huge boulder and leaving, the dragon creeps off the sulk. <laughs> Little bitch. Oh by the way, that uh weird uh blue thing that's gray, uh here. Uh that is the magic mirror that we need. Mm -hmm. Really looks like it, doesn't it? Magic mirror on the wall. As you are look holding mirror. the magic mirror, you look into it and see a vision of yourself with a crown on your head. And many, many deaths before that. <laughs> and it, here's another weird thing that I found. <laughs> your, <laughs> um, your ascension to the, tr to the throne was followed by rebellion and bloodshed. <laughs> Is that, that is what they're telling. Like the the what the, what you don't see between King's Quest King's Quest one and two is all the political strife that came with Graham's ascension to the throne. No, uh, the King's Quest series lives in an alternate universe where everything is happy and perfect. So ah, uh. apparently you get more points if you leave the cave cavern this way rather than follow the dragon, because apparently. Uh, like I said, I don't know why. It's just one of those things. This, this anime, this, this anime, this game doesn't incentivize bullying. I guess. The 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 dragon is going to about a depression, and he doesn't want anyone just mocking him. Like it would be very uncouth for you to just take the opportunity to mock him. Yeah, probably. Um, now I have to figure out where I need to. Oh. Oh, uh, I think I... Yeah. So, for the last thing that we need to do, we need to find an eagle. And I was just trying to remember where... What screen I have to go to to find that eagle. And I think it's over here. You gotta go to the screen with American flag in it. No, and some people go with there's guns. no American flags in uh, Daventry. I don't even know where Daventry is supposed to take place, honestly. This country doesn't know what freedom is! <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, if it did, uh, then, uh... It's uh, a sorry place. Yeah, uh, if it was a free place, then uh, there'd probably be more people living here rather than uh, uh, an, uh, an, an old couple who doesn't know how to uh, cut wood, despite being woodcutters, and uh, a dying king. <laughs> and a bunch of uh, fairy tale references. I think the eagle was up here. Oh, okay. Uh, thank you, fairy godmother. Man, we've been very lucky with uh, finding her. Because it's literally up to chance whether uh, you find her or not. I mean, what else is, is there for her to do? There's almost nobody else in this kingdom. Just... Yeah, fair <laughs> Most enough. of the population is not. It doesn't seem to be very friendly. So she probably doesn't have much else to do. Yeah, we're apparently the nicest of uh, beings here, despite the fact that all we do is just find random crap and just give it to other people. <laughs> and even then, like, having a bowl that always fills with stew, if you just say the word fill, is 
seems to be good enough for like a kingdom. Like you could base a whole society around that bull. <laughs> All right, I think this is where you find the uh, uh, the eagle. And if we followed the dragon, this is where we would have ended up. But again, for whatever reason, we we get more points by uh, not following the dragon. Oh, you want to see how amazing this jump is? I have an idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Kingdom's quest confirms white people can't jump. Basically. <laughs> this is as far as the Caucasoid ability can, can reach. Come on, Mr. Eagle. I, I want to finish this game. <laughs> There we go. And then the eagle just sort of flies around and we have to jump at the right time in the hopes that we get caught by him. Can he go off screen? Uh, no, but he likes to butt into the screen like an idiot. Probably just, yeah, that's probably the best time for you to try it. God fucking damn it. Now... Jesus Christ. Good times. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Oh, oh okay. He's a fast boy. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Mr. Eagle. Hop on. I need to hop on the, those talons. There we go. Where could this giant bird be taking you? Thankfully, it's always the exact same spot you need to go. So it's nests to feed its children. No, apparently uh, giant eagles are a lot smarter than that, so they know exactly what to do. It would be really funny, though, if it was that was the, the thing all along. The, the eagle was just taking you to be eaten alive by, pet, by small e eagles. Eaglets. Yeah. <laughs> Now, we do need to go down that hole, but first, we need to get Mushroom, which is on the next screen here. This mushroom is extremely important. If we don't get it, we would be a dead man walking, which is uh, old game, like point-and-click adventure uh, game term for if you don't do something very specific, uh, you can't beat the game. And b before anyone asks, yes, Sierra Games are infamous for having a bunch of them in every title. <laughs> How did they survive as a company for so long is, is uh, well, a very perplexing thing. Uh, they survived because their only competition was LucasArts, and... Uh, even then, uh, they survived by doing qu quantity over quality. <laughs> the Mr. Oh, okay. Uh, and there's multiple ways we can solve this puzzle, but we have the best one, which is to... Oh, sorry. Uh, give... Jeez. Fuck off, game. Give... Yes, I am afraid of the giant rat because it will kill me if I uh, get too close. But, uh, yeah, yeah, no. Uh, so, give cheese. God. Do I have to crawl up this rat's ass to give him the cheese? Fuck off! Oh, and I didn't save. God damn it. <laughs> Oh my god, did you save before or after the eagle? Yeah, I did not save after the eagle. Oops. Oof. Um. Oh, thank god there was an autosave. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Thank god. <laughs> All right. It's kind of hilarious that this is probably the pinnacle of graphics in 1984. 
the, uh, I wouldn't say the pinnacle, but definitely maybe better than most. Mm -hmm. All right, so we get the mushroom. Thank God. Uh, get the cheese after we fall down the hole. And then we'll save just so I don't have to do all that bullshit again. And that is an important lesson as to why you save often in these games. <laughs> Then we go around the corner. Beep. I assume by your by your point count that things are are coming close to a conclusion. Uh, yeah, that's usually a good uh, frame of reference to go by. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Let me do this. The rat drools at the sight of the cheese and snatches it from your hand. You might want to count your fingers. And the rat scrambles to the wall and seems to magically merge with it. Because uh, the game designers did not want to animate him going into a hole. The uh, rat is familiar with the ninja arts. Yeah. The leprechauns revere the power of the four-leaf clover. With it in your possession, they will leave you absolutely alone. Very good. And... Now we play fiddle. And with that, uh, it gets rid of all the leprechauns here, which the king then leaves. And thankfully, not only did he leave behind his scepter, uh, get. I think there your writing's... Go. Okay. Not only did he leave the scepter, but also... Uh, the magic shield that we need. It is made from titanium and edged with emeralds. And apparently it protects uh, you from literally everything. And I don't know how to use it in this game if you are able to use it. <laughs> Because uh, I tried uh, solving the giant uh, puzzle by uh, trying to equip the shield. And the game was like, how do you equip shield? And it's like, god fucking damn it, Graham, you're a knight. You're supposed to know this shit. <laughs> Listen, we've seen that he's not very capable of swimming. And he has he struggles to carry a, an egg. So, uh... Maybe like oh, maybe he was one of those special, special like diversity higher knights. You know, he got there because, or maybe he got he got the position because he had some parents in some some fam some friends and family in high places. Not exactly for talent. Yeah, probably. All right. So I reorientated myself by looking at my hand drawn map. And now I know where to go. Uh, we just have to go north a bit. Give a man a heart attack. Yeah. Oh, you fucking ogre. Get out of here. Uh, but we're so close to being finished. I could... We... Oh, fucking ogre. I'm so close to victory I can taste it. And it's delicious. Are you, uh, excited, uh, Gok? I am, because after this I'm going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> now we just have one last struggle. The bridge. Crossing the bridge. <sighs> yeah, 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 pig, I hear ya. Good god. Uh -huh. yeah. Listen to Piggy, he knows. And we open the door. And I, I don't know why we get a point for opening a door a second time, but uh, y you do. 
And then we shall bow. So I'm not sure if we get points for bowing again. Eh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, true. Oh, and with that, uh, we've beaten the game. And oh my God! I didn't expect you to come back alive. From the seemingly lifeless king, you hear these words: "Well done, Sir Graham." You have been a good and faithful servant. Your reward is well deserved. My kingdom is now yours. Good thing he died of a heart attack immediately when we came back with the treasure. Yes, unfortunately there was no one there besides Graham to corroborate his story, so a lot of civil war happened because <laughs> of this. Like it was a very dark time. Yeah, from Ken and Roberta Williams. Uh, they were the uh, CEOs of uh, uh, Sierra and husband and wife, and that's the entire credit sequence right there. <laughs> yeah, and it begs the question, what kind of crack wars were you smoking? Because it wasn't good. <laughs> and with that... I love how his t-shirt mer uh, merges in color with the rest of the tr throne. Yeah, you do what you can with 16 colors. Yeah. And with that, I hope you guys enjoyed, and we will see you all next time. Have a nice night.